Okay, welcome to part 10 of the DeLorean build. Uh, this is the big one. The uh, chassis has finally arrived. There it is. It's uh, it's quite a big piece of metal. It's quite heavy. <laughs> I, I don't know, is it me or does that look like the front of a Klingon warbird? I don't know. Anyway, there it is. The chassis has arrived. Um, we've got loads to do, so let's get cracking. There's no time to waffle on really. Uh, the first thing it wants you to do is fit the left hand front suspension and of course it's got a little L on the side there and you'll be using two, let me just check, are they BM screws? Yes they are, BM screws with the new screwdriver that you get with this kit. Uh, the old one was getting a bit worn out so let's see, let's uh, Get the left front suspension in place. You can't really do it wrongly, it can only fit in one way really. Uh, the new screwdriver is extremely magnetic. I'm just going to try sticking the screw on the end of the screwdriver and carrying it over. one in. I think this new screwdriver, I think the tip is slightly bigger than the old one, which uh, is good because I always thought the original screwdriver was a little on the small side. Let's, uh, let's get these two screws in. There's an awful lot to do this week. It's probably going to be quite a long video, this. But, uh, as usual, I'll do it in real time. Okay, that's the left front suspension in place. Let's check everything's still moving freely. And of course the right suspension is next. Again using the BM screws. As you can see um, it can only fit in one way so uh, you can't really get it in the wrong way. You can't uh, get the orientation wrong. Right, two more BM screws. I if I can just drop them in there. No, I think the best way is to carry them over on the end of the screwdriver and drop them in the hole. Oops. There we go. I think this issue is the uh, biggest build we've uh, had to do so far. And uh, this is the issue that uh, all the previous ones have been leading up to, really. This new screwdriver feels a lot better, you know. Okay. They seem to be nicely tightened. There we are, that's the uh, front suspension in place. That's nice and free. Yeah, that looks okay. Now, what does it want us to do next? Right, we're going to be putting on the top plate, which is this bit, of course. 
and the top plate is held in with what's it held in with some AM screws three of them so, here for the AM there's five bags of screws in this issue in total okay the AM screws these are really quite small and fiddly My usual way of assembling things is I put the screws in loosely at first and then tighten them up together. That means, or uh, well it usually means that everything lines up nicely. If you tend to put one screw in and fully tighten it first, you uh, don't always get things aligned properly. I can't get over how much we've got to do this week compared to previous issues where you sort of finished before you started. This is a real, uh, a real big build. Okay, there we are. That's the top plate in place. Now, the next thing is we've got to feed in the steering rack, which is here, and we've got to. Now I'm just going to turn it round so it's the same way round as the uh, as the diagram. So we want the longer piece on that side and it slips up through these holes in the top plate like so and it has to pivot on let's have a look it's got to pivot on the outer ones there a little bit fiddly this there we go, oh that's got it, right, there we go that's in place and it's held in by two GM screws ok, and the uh, ones with a big flange on the top with two of them I think it's important to remember this is going to be a moving part, so don't do it too tight, don't do it so tight the arm won't move. Same with that one. I should say there's actually two posts on each side and uh, we're using the outer ones. and free let's get these tightened up again as I'm tightening as I'm still checking that everything's moving freely left one done and I don't 
that one's a little bit stiff, so I'm going to back that, back that one off a little bit. See, that's all uh, nice and free. Let's try tightening that one up again. Yeah, there we are. It's okay. Okay. That's still nice and free to move. There we are. Okay, what are we doing next? We'll put in the two I was gonna say track rod ends in, but they've not given us a proper name in this. Step three is to put two DM screws into the end of the steering there. In reality that is called a track rod end. But, uh, obviously in the model world we're just using a screw. Now, they go underneath and the screws go in from underneath. Okay, and we're using DM screws for this bit. There's an awful lot of DM screws there. I sense this is going to be the fiddly bit. Now there's a little bit of guidance on the uh, diagram there. It says support. Uh, so I presume it means keep a tight hold of the disc brake assembly uh, while you're um, putting this screw in. quite tight that. I'm not surprised the instructions say support. You've got to put quite a bit of force on there. Alright, that, that's got it. I don't really want to put any more uh, any more force on it than is necessary. Let's put a DM screw in the other side. It's a bit tricky to get everything to line up now. This is the sort of final lining up of the steering putting the screw in. everything moving. That DM screw, it's not actually gone in terribly far. But, uh, let's just see how that functions now. Okay, there we go. The steering moving, that's doing its thing. Okay, let's put the wheels in a pretty much straight ahead position. And step four 
is we're putting the bottom plate on. Which uh, amazingly goes straight into position. There we go. And we're flipping it over and with four more DM screws we're going to screw that into position. to get lined up. Mm -hmm. So this new screwdriver is really, uh, really working a lot better than the other one. bottom bit on. Steering still moving. Okay, that's step five done. Now over the page. We're not finished yet. The final steps are fitting the anti-roll bar and we'll be fitting the wheels. The first first bit is the anti-roll bar using the AP screws. We'll be using the little ones. The roll bar has got to fit into the bottom arms first. Little two little holes in the bottom arms there, like so. And we use four of the AP screws. It 
starting to look like suspension on a real car now. Nip those up now. Okay, that's the roll bar in place. Right, we're, um, we're starting to get something that looks a bit like a car now. That's looking pretty good now. Okay, and the final stage is putting the wheels on, which is done with the GM screws. I'm just going to check the thread in the wheel, in the wheel hub. Just refer back to. Uh, Previous page. Yeah. yeah, the same screws that held the steering in place. So what we're going to do is uh, the DMC badges that we were told to pop in. We've got to pop them out again. And how are we holding the wheel on? How are we holding it on? We are taking the screw. We are putting the screw into the little rubber washer thing, I think it's rubber, is it plastic? We're putting the screw into the washer like so, I don't know if you can see that and we're using that to hold the wheel on This looks like it's going to be the fiddliest thing we've ever done in this build. Let's have, let's have a go. Let's have a go at putting a wheel on. One. And we'll do the same uh, on the other side. The 
the uh, GM screw again through the washer line the wheel up first drop the screw in go and that's it the, the only final thing that we've got to do is put the DMC badges on the end of the wheels now uh, I'm actually going to super glue mine in because I know um, they have been coming loose on a few people so um, I won't actually uh, put those in just yet just yet but a uh, little dab of super glue on those will soon hold them in place and that's it that was a bit of a marathon, wasn't it? <laughs> there you are. That is the end of issue 10. Um, issue 11. Let's have a look. I think it's the back suspension. Let's have a quick look. Oh, uh, issue 11 is the engine support uh, for the rear of the chassis. And uh, that's it for issue 10. My God, that was a big one. There we are, that's issue 10 finished, and uh, hopefully yours will look something like that. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in issue 11.